died yesterday in Monday after a court hearing, former Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi was buried this Tuesday morning in Medina Nas, an eastern part of Cairo, in the presence of his family. In China, 12 people died and 134 wounded in a magnitude 6 earthquake that hit southern China on Monday, according to the latest record. More than 10,000 living quarters were destroyed, compelling more than 4,000 people to be relocated. <music> 2019 Women's World Cup France beats Nigeria 1 0 and finishes first in their group. But Super Falcons fans always hope their team will make it to the final eight. These are our top stories. Stay tuned for more details in this newscast. Former Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi died on Monday at age 67. The one who was considered the first democratically elected president of the land of the pharaohs in 2011. He came from the Islamist movement of the Muslim Brotherhood. Mohamed Morsi came to power in 2012, a year after the Nile Revolution and the fall of his predecessor, Hosni Mubarak. A year later, the crisis followed one another. On June 30, 2013, millions of Egyptians took to the street to demand his departure, and thereafter, the army chief, Marshal Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, was elected president. Since Mohamed Morsi was sacked from power by his defense minister and current president following an insurrection, he was sentenced to a total of 45 years in prison for two court cases, inciting violence against demonstrators in late 2012 and spying for Qatar. He was appearing on Monday in another espionage case because of suspected contact with Palestinian Hamas. This was his last public appearance since the former president soon after crumbled and died from a heart attack. Mohamed Morsi was buried this Tuesday in Medina Nasr, a neighborhood in eastern Cairo, in the presence of his family. He was declared dead at Torah Prison Hospital, said lawyer Abdel Monem Abdel Maksud. <music> Hundred school complexes, each comprising three classrooms, an office, a store incorporating 300 latrine blocks, 100 board halls equipped with furniture and powered by solar energy at a cost of 5.8 billion of CFA francs. This is the gift that the People's Republic of China offers to Burkina Faso one year after the resumption of friendship and cooperation between the two countries. This will make it possible to put an end to under straw hat classes in the central western, northern, highlands, Mohun and central plateau regions. For Jian Li, ambassador of China in Burkina Faso, the resumption of relationships between Ouagadougou and Beijing is a decision of reason that adapts not only to historical trends but also meets the expectations and aspirations of the people of Burkina Faso. After expressing his gratitude to the People's Republic of China for the renewal of bilateral cooperation, Burkina head of state said the construction of 100 schools is the result of the new cooperation. Huawei loses America and a part of Europe but gains Africa by signing a memorandum of understanding with Huawei recently in the midst of a crisis between Washington and Beijing. Afghan Union is positioning itself within the technological Cold War against China. In a few years, Huawei has become the second largest smartphone seller in Africa with a market share of 12.75% behind the Korean Samsung. More importantly, the Chinese giant has significantly contributed to the establishment and modernization of huge parts of the IT infrastructure of the telecommunications networks of some 30 African countries, particularly in the major countries of the continent such as South Africa, Morocco, Egypt, Algeria, Cameroon, Ethiopia, Zambia and Angola. In addition, Huawei is engaged in programs in Africa on the latest technologies including broadband, smart girds, video surveillance, artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, to mention a few. This dominant position can be explained by the fact that Huawei is one of the world's leading providers of intelligence infrastructures and devices in the fields of information and communication technologies. The Chinese giant is one of the few to have integrated solutions in four areas, telecommunications networks, information technologies, smart devices, and cloud computing.
Clearly, in terms of telecommunications, Africa can longer do without the Chinese giant, which very strongly dominates the 4G market and infrastructure, a domination that promises to be overwhelming at the level of the rising 5G. Today, Huawei is responsible for the construction of more than 70% of African 4G internet networks. The Chinese giant is also very well positioned for the rising 5G, accompanying the African telecom giant. Monday, June 17, 2019, a powerful earthquake of magnitude 6 struck the Chinese province of Sichuan in southwest. At least 12 people were killed and 134 wounded, according to a report announced on Tuesday by local officials and state media. In the vast municipality of Yibin, more than 4,000 people have been relocated. In total, more than 100,000 people were affected by the earthquake, according to the authorities. The earthquake occurred at a quarter to 11 p.m. local time at a depth of 16 kilometers, according to the China Earthquake Center. An alert system sounded in Yibin only 10 seconds before the earthquake, according to the new China news agency. More than 60 replicas, the largest of which was magnitude 5.1, were then recorded. Afterwards, emergency services poured into the affected areas. More than 300 firefighters were deployed onto the site and emergency personnel was dispatched with 5,000 tents and other emergency equipment, according to China New. After a poor performance, the Blues of French women's football secured the first place of their group thanks to a penalty from Wendy Renard against Nigeria on Monday in Rennes 1-0, but will have to significantly raise their level in the last 16 of the Women's World Cup. This Sunday, France will face the third of Group C, DOE, in the city of the Havre, even if the calculations seem difficult by now, but before the end of the first round, it could be Australia or Brazil in Pool C. France will have to do much better on the field despite the three successes in a row. A first for France in the World Cup because the French needed an incredible scenario to get rid of the Nigerian women. After a foul against Viviana Sey and the use of video, the referee issued a red card against Ngoi Ebere and whistled a first penalty which was missed by Renard. Then a second in a row, again thanks to the video assistant referees by reproaching the goaltender for coming out too early on the initial attempt of the French defender. This time, Renard scored her 23rd goal with the team and blew a big blow after 79 minutes of play, while the very enthusiastic Breton public was just waiting to catch on. I think um, I'm a little heartbroken because our girls fought very hard. And uh, finishing the match with 10, men, uh, 10 women against 11 didn't help matters. But overall, I'm very proud of uh, the Nigerian Falcons this night. Uh, I think it was very nice, the game, because we know that Nigeria still has a chance to be qualified for the, the knockout phase. Uh, I'm happy France won, obviously. I'm happy we qualified. But anyway, Nigeria still can be qualified. Even though the, it didn't favor us, but it's a game. It's a game that I enjoyed very well. The girls played very well, but the goal didn't come. So what we need to do is just to come back home, go back to our drawing board and see how we can get more skillful players to do what we can do for the next World Cup. The girls gave a good account of themselves, but um, it's unfortunate uh, we're caught by the new FIFA rules. Rules are rules, you, you have to stick by them. You know. The Blues will certainly be able to tell themselves that they made a perfect one with three victories against South Korea 4-0, Norway 2-1 and this sad Nigeria-France 1-0 but the possible quarterfinals that could take place against the United States reigning world champions and impressive since the start of the tournament is scary. Died yesterday, Monday, after a court hearing, former Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi was buried this Tuesday morning in Medina Nas, an eastern part of Cairo, in the presence of his family. In China, 12 people died and 134 wounded in a magnitude 6 earthquake that hit southern China on Monday, according to the latest record. More than 10,000 living quarters were destroyed, compelling more than 4,000 people to be relocated. The 2019 Women's World Cup, France beats Nigeria 1-0 and finishes first in their group. But Super Falcons fans always hope their team will make it to the final eight. 
That's all for our newscast today. Stay tuned on Gabon 24 for more news.